today we're going to be making Thanksgiving in a bowl. Let's do it. Hey, it's the Ginger Optimist. Welcome to my lifestyle channel. I love having fun in the kitchen cooking using my Instant Pot, the air fryer, sous vide, my Vitamix, even my oven. I enjoy doing DIY projects, especially soaping. I enjoy traveling and all kinds of things. So come and join me. I have my friend Tabitha with us. Hi y'all. We are going to show you how to make Thanksgiving in a bowl and you can use your leftovers, you can use turkey. If you don't have turkey, you can even use diced chicken. So we're gonna get that started. Tabitha, what's the first thing we're going to do? So we're going to take our stuffing that we have made here and we're going to add your certain amount of the chicken broth that you may have had also left over from Thanksgiving. And we're going to stir that all together in the pot and make sure it gets to a good consistency, enough where it's kind of mushy, because what you're gonna do is you're going to take that and line your, your pre-greased pan with that stuffing. Tabitha, why do we have two different dishes here? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. So with your leftovers, some of you may be a little bit more health conscious and say, you know, you don't want to do the traditional mashed potatoes and you like mashed cauliflower. So today we are going to do one of each. One of our dishes is going to have cauliflower mashed on the top and the other dish is going to have regular mashed potatoes on the top. Very good. Yes. We're also gonna do one in the oven and one in the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get this mashed Mash in. It. Yes. We're going to leave the recipe down below, so don't worry about, oh, how much of what did she put in? Because it'll be right down below. So check the link. Now when your bottoms of your bowls are all crusted and it looks really good inside, you're going to preheat your oven, which is already done for us, and then we're going to put it in, depending on your oven temperature. Um, this one we're gonna put in for about five to 10 minutes. You want it just to be browned and crispy. You want that good, crispy bottom crust. And then we're gonna put our other one into the air fryer. I've never done this in the air fryer, so we are going to just uh, experiment. We'll start with five minutes. Let her do her thing. Our air fryer just turned off, so we're now gonna check and see if our crust is a little crispy. And by the way, we did spray it lightly with our olive oil cooking spray to help crisp it up. Ooh, that looks good. What do you think? I think it needs probably two more, two or three more minutes. Let's go for it and see. Here, let me show you. Mm. Three minutes and I think it'll be ready. Let's check our crust. Oh yes. yeah. Okay, Tabitha, what is our next step? Okay, so next we're going to actually take our cream cheese and our gravy, which you can use a turkey gravy or a chicken gravy, whatever you have a preference for as far as taste-wise or what you may have left over from Thanksgiving. But you're going to take those two ingredients and you're going to beat it with your mixer until it's well mixed. Just enough to get it well blended in there all together where you don't have a lot of your gravy showing um, that it's a nice, well blended mix. Next step is you're going to take your broccoli, your Swiss shredded cheese, and dump it in there in the same bowl as your salt and your pepper. Finally, you want to add in your cooked chicken or turkey, whichever you desire, and you're going to add that into the dish as well. Okay, and stir that all together and get it nice and mixed into this creamy mixture where everything is good and looking yummy. <laughs> all right, so now once you have that done, you're going to want to take your two or one at this point where you have of your uh, stuffing mix. And since we're trying an experiment with the cauliflower and the mashed potatoes, we're splitting our mix half and half in the bowls. We're gonna use half and half to make these really creamy. You don't want dry potatoes on top of your dish. That's 
put them on top. Depending on what you like, you can do a thick topping or a thin topping. It's all up to your preference of what you think you like. Next, you're going to take some melted butter and you're going to drizzle it on top of that potatoes. And then you're going to add some of your French onions and sprinkle them on top. You know, we put broccoli in here, but I bet we could do green beans, French style green beans. Yes. So it's like having the green bean casserole mixed in with everything else. I love one pot dishes because it's just so easy. So for this one, we're going to take our cauliflower and we're going to put it on the top, which has a different consistency than the mashed potatoes, but I think it's gonna taste just as good. Now your butter. crispy onions and we're going to put them in the one that's going in the oven will be for 20 minutes the one that's going in the air fryer I'd say let's try it for about 10 to start with and see how it browns okay gonna put just a little light spritz of olive oil cooking spray on top So at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, but we'll check it halfway through. We had this for 15 minutes, but it's down to six minutes. Let's check it and see how it's doing. Oh, wow. Yes. I think it's done. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you ready to taste test the one oh, from the air fryer? Yes, <laughs> I can't wait. Ready to try this one? Yes, I can't wait. This is our cauliflower one, and oh my goodness, it looks almost just like potatoes. You wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> mm. That's just good. It's a different taste, but I love it. Mm -hmm. I really, really like it. I think if you're definitely aiming for the watching of your carbs and the healthier part, cauliflower is a good choice. Still just delicious. Yum. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Tabitha, for being on my show. My pleasure. Thank you so much for watching The Ginger Optimist. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will. I look forward to connecting with you. Leave me comments down below. Thanks again, my friend. God bless. Bye.